Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 1, Episode 7, Thoughts. This episode is called The Hub. So, spoilers for the MCU leading up to and including this episode. Another episode I love. Before I get into it, the top link in the description box will allow you to donate to the SAG After Strikers, and I implore you to do so. And then there are some links to videos to help explain why this is such an important strike. So, let's dive in. So, yeah, we open with... Colson being, you know, yeah, basically he's there to extract an undercover agent. So it's a, it's a very, like, I'm, I'm getting a real vibe of, I'm not in here with you, you're in here with me. That was quite fun. And, yeah, you know, they retrieve the, the, the vial of intelligence from his nose and command him, get your ass to Mars. And yeah, so Sky does not yet know about the hub. So she asks, what the hub? What's the hub, bub? And cool to see Jasper Sitwell, who had appeared in a couple of the films by this point. <laughs> And yeah, we're told they have 24 hours. I know it's really corny, but I did enjoy Fitz, you know, the the him him struggling with the door, the 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 cart being stuck. And I I really appreciated this thing of you know he's like oh you know I got I got one of the new toys. There's a the EMP, and later he uses it to save their lives. Like literally, they were about to be shot. And he, you know, so, yeah, quite appreciate that. And, <laughs> yeah, Simmons is very worried about Fitz. And, and Fitz is telling the story on the, on the drive there, and Ward is not amused at all. And eventually it dawns on Fitz that he's not really making much of a positive impression. I'm a friend of Yuri. You're a friend of Yuri. Yuri is dead. You have no friends here. <laughs> that was pretty funny that, you know, you we do think that, oh, Fitz is going to completely screw up for them. That's how, because of, of course there's, something's got to go wrong. It's too early in the episode for everything to be resolved. So, you know, when Fitz walks up, what kind of beers do they have? You know, we, we think that's going to be what destroys it, but no. It's that Yuri is dead and the the yeah and that is of course also yeah if if your contact is dead you know i'm not a an expert spy or anything but i'm guessing the people who killed the contact are probably pretty interested in the people that the contact might contact and I like when when Sky, you know, talking to to May, and she's like, "Wait, is does that does this mean that you you knew? Or does, which non-expression is this?" And yeah, very very funny when Ward is trying to figure out, okay, what do what do we do? How attached are you to your pinky? You know, what, do do you? Do you know what a slam and cram is? You know, these various things, and it's like, okay, that sounds... The, these do legitimately sound... You know, and, and yeah, he's a... Before you ask another vaguely horrifying thing, you know, just, yeah. And... Yeah, and, and you know, they're about to be shot, but the power goes out, and... The, and, and it was also great, you know, we hear Marta express frustration at missing the game. So, you know, that tells Fitz that's our, you know, yeah. If, if we are the only way they can get power back, they're going to let us live. And, yeah, yeah, so Simmons and Sky talk, and I love the the phrase i can't be a part of your bad girl shenanigans bad girl shenanigans if that's not a punk band it should be 
And the, the thing that, you know, he could be getting tortured right now. Fitz getting tortured. And, and we see, you know, oh, he's upside down and it's one of the Russians holding him. And then he's like, okay, can we get a little bit more light? You know, he's fixing the, the power for the TV. That was very funny. And let's see. Yeah, and, and I quite like when Phil talks or, or has a talk with Melinda May and it's just him talking you know she just looks at him and this, yeah and yeah Sky and Simmons you know this thing with the the worm that imitates her usual online pattern like that got very alias and I'm here for it and sit well spots her and yeah that was that was very very fun um you know is this thing of the the so what are you doing out here so late i could ask you the same thing <laughs> please don't <laughs> and help well, d d don't talk he can hear you are you on comms right now? Yes, they are both on comms right now. And the the just you know, don't don't freeze. Just say something, anything. And then she starts flirting and Sky's like, "Okay, never never mind. Don't don't talk. Don't say anything. Stop, please." <laughs> you know, it's it's a uh, appreciate the effort completely misjudged. The the you know, just yeah. And she acts, and, and the, you know, do you have clearance? To, of course I do. And, you know, the night night gun was, was right there, you know. I, I think she, that, that should probably be, I don't know if it's going to work, but I think it would be interesting if someone tried that in court. Your Honor, I didn't mean to shoot the, the other person in the chest, but the gun was right there. And, yeah, and, and you know, um, Fitz gets out the, the sandwich. And, oh, yeah. But, so, well, I, yeah, I just made it from stuff that's in the fridge. Well, I thought you liked your MREs. You know, as a, you, can, you can have half. And he throws the entire thing in the water and then points out, there are dogs. Do you know how easy it would be for them to, to, to and, and it, it, he has a point. Like, the moment that I saw it, I was like, Dude, but then he explained, and it's like, oh, yeah, that's that's one hundred percent accurate. There's no way that the, like, the dogs would easily be able to tell there's something weird here. You know, there is, there's no prosciutto this far out. You know, so just yeah, and yeah, we learn. You know, there's no extraction. The, the mag pouch is very, very cool. This thing of, you know, the, the, so, so yeah, the mag, I mean, that's got to be like short for magnetic. So it attaches to the bottom of the truck, you know, in, in case you, you know, need to, to taunt a, a, you know, an, an attorney and, you know, Maybe maybe seduce his daughter, you know, in, in you know really really threaten his entire family. That's really going to enable you to do that, and it's apparently like invisible. It just yeah, I, I I like gadgets. What can I say? And yeah, it was also very fun when you know Fitz puts up the thing and it's like ah, I know what you're thinking, X-ray, but in reality, oh, there are two armed guards. There's a third armed guard, and the third armed guard is attacking the other two. Oh no, he's coming right at the <laughs> Because Ward is not gonna gonna just talk him through it. He's actually gonna gonna do this. Yeah. And yeah, and, and Colson confronts Victoria about the lack of extraction. So, you know, when, when he said to Skye, you know, that's classified when she asked, did you know there was no extraction? 
you know, he just didn't want to tell her because he didn't want her to doubt the system. And, yeah, Ward, you know, has been told that the, the you know, the, yeah, he tried contacting the, the x -Fil team and they're not responding. So I guess we gotta, you know, and he's trying to protect Fitz and Fitz claims that it's not insecurity, but it really reeks of male fragility to me, I gotta say. But yeah, you know, ultimately they do both get out of there. Really enjoyed Fitz using the device to stop the, the various weapons. And Melinda May to the rescue. And then we learn, you know, Victoria knew that they didn't need any extraction. So this is, you know, telling the audience, don't worry, even when, you know, government agencies do something objectively terrible, they have a plan. You just need to trust the system. And, yeah, we learned that apparently whoever gave Sky up for adoption was one of the S.H.I.E.L.D. agents. And, you know, he wants to find out more. Uh, you know, May is going to try to dig deeper. But, you know, yeah, for now they don't know more. And at the very, very end, we learn that Coulson does not have access to, to that file. And, yeah, that is very, very, very interesting. That really does suggest, you know, they are hiding. They are intentionally hiding stuff from him. Uh, I appreciate that, you know, based on their names, as I look here on IMDb, several of the, you know, Eastern European characters are actually played by actors who come from there with names like Ilya Volok and Vladimir Zizal. Um, yeah, I think that is everything that I have to say about this one. Yeah, um, I... I appreciate the, the slow drip of, of information, uh, you know, over these first seven episodes, we, we gradually find out, you know, we're, we're slowly learning more about Sky's background, we're getting hints of Tahiti, it's a magical place. You know, this time he realized, wait, do I say that every single time? You know, that's, it's a, that, that hints that there's some kind of, like, memory, uh, what's it called? Like a, a, a conditioning or maybe, you know, they're messing with memories or something. You know, you wouldn't say the exact same thing every time you talk about something. You know, you, you'd probably use different words. But, yeah, it's... Yeah, um, let's see. We... Um... Yeah, we're, you know, we're gradually getting to know more about Ward. Like, it, I do think it was very big of him to, to, you know, tell Fitz, look, I know, I know you would have jumped out of the plane. So does Gemma. You know, th this is, you know, because, like, I'm not going to lie. I didn't, I would not have guessed that Ward would have, been, you know, and yeah, he cares about them. He cares about their physical safety their emotional well-being he does not seem that much concerned with, you know, which, you know, that's his training. He's not trained for that. But I, I really appreciate that. And, and the you know, the fact that Fitz uh, didn't just, like, collapse, but actually said, no, this is not about ego. Um, I think that might be... Um, yeah, just, you know, um, I, I, you know, I hope that there's more of, of, you know, like, I really, really enjoyed Simmons. Really, yeah, both Fitz and Simmons being very out of their element, but making, you know, do, doing their best. That, that, yeah, I, I, um, I think... Simmons being caught by Sitwell, 
and trying desperately to to get out of it and just like flailing and and failing just really struggling that was probably the funniest scene for me in these first seven episodes um yeah i think that might be what i have so yeah um i will i'll try to to get one episode done tomorrow we'll see how it goes but if not tomorrow the day after tomorrow and until then i can't be a part of your bad girl shenanigans